Welcome to the February edition of What's New at your Munson Free Library. We are in full swing with our Cabin Fever Reliever series. It's a series of program variety of programs to get you through the winter months, starting in January, running through April. Um, in January, I'm sure you heard word on the street, everyone loved it. We had a packed house for the ukulele program. Um, it was so popular that we are purchasing two ukuleles that you can borrow and learn ukulele on your own. We might even have a couple jam sessions at the library, so stay tuned for that. But in February, we have a lot of programs and I'm going to start, it's gonna be a variety, summer cabin fever, some are not. On February 1st, we have a new Munson Film Appreciation Group. We like to call it the MFA. And uh, Tegan is running this discussion group. There will be a selection of movies to watch throughout the month. And then you meet on the first Thursday of every month at 6 p.m. to discuss the movies. Uh, for February, we do have these movies available at the library. She is doing The Cutting Edge, The Magic of Movie Editing. Also, Side by Side, Can Film Survive Our Digital Future? So those two movies are available at the library. Watch them, come and discuss on February 1st. And that's another, we, we have busy days all through February. Also on February 1st, this is the Thursday, we have Rambling Roots. This is our genealogy discussion group. Um, we started it last month and it was very popular. People wanted to keep doing it. So February 1st at 6 p.m., Rambling Roots, it's for learning genealogy. If you wanna learn the basics and dig further into your family history, come and talk to Christina. Uh, there is registration for that. You can go online, munsonlibrary.com, and register for that. It's a small group. So on Tuesday, February 13th, another busy day. First of all, we have our friend's bake sale. Day before Valentine's Day, get a sweet treat for your love. Uh, that will be 10 o'clock. We say until 6 p.m. or until sold out. Being as it's before Valentine's Day, they may be sold out before six, so get there early uh, to pick what you want. And then, Life Rhythms with John Thorpe. This is another one in our Cabin Fever Reliever series. I just love saying that. But Life Rhythms, John Thorpe is back by popular demand. He uh, does the vibrational healing with the Himalayan singing bowls. It is phenomenal. I have done this myself. I am hooked. Um, it is a great program. You do need to register for that. Again, MunsonLibrary.com. That is 6 p.m. on Tuesday, February 13th. Mark your calendars. Tuesday, February 20th. We have the next program in our Cabin Fever Reliever series. Uh, less is more at 6 p.m. Do you wanna declutter? Do you wanna learn methods of how less is more and make your home feel good? We have the program for you. Come and learn uh, with Stephanie Baird. She has practiced the art of decluttering. Uh, she has used books, Maybe, perhaps you have read them. Life-changing magic of tidying up. She has taken that method, she has practiced it. She has thrown out over 60 bags of garbage or given it to uh, Goodwill. She has made money, she has sold it on eBay and Etsy and everywhere. Um, she's made a couple thousand dollars doing that and she's decluttered her home. Learn her methods, again, Tuesday, February 20th at 6 p.m. There is no registration for that one, just come. Bring a friend. On Wednesday, February 21st, we have Appetite for Art. Uh, that is our monthly art discussion group. We are discussing Peggy Guggenheim. There is a movie and a biography available at the library uh, for you to read, watch, come and discuss. Uh, avid art collector, interesting lady, and of course, the Guggenheim Museum. So that is Appetite for Art, February 21st at noontime. Bring a brown bag lunch if you'd like. Everyone is always welcome. We also have a friends meeting that night, 6 p.m. Everyone's always welcome there too, and we urge you to bring a friend, um, help plan some programs, some bus trips, some fundraising efforts that the friends do to help support all these programs I'm telling you about. On February 27th, another Tuesday night, we have our monthly Scrabble, 6 p.m. Everyone's always welcome. They always have some great games going on. Um, so come, enjoy Scrabble, meet some new friends. Then there's another program in our cabin, Fever Reliever Series. 
that um, I want to tell you about. It's coming up in March. I'm just telling you about it now because it is March 3rd. So right in the beginning of the month, mark your calendars. It's a Saturday, 10 a.m. I'm really happy for this program. I want to go myself. Well, of course, I want to attend all of them. But the Garden Tourist, uh, a Massachusetts author, uh, Jana Milbacher, wrote this book. It's 120 Destination Gardens in the Northeast. It is a fabulous book. I did bring it home. I uh, went through it myself, and I will be getting a signed copy. If you like gardens, if you like to travel around New England, this is a fabulous book. She will be there to discuss the book, discuss gardens in the Northeast region, and sign some books for you. So again, that's March 3rd. That is a Saturday. Finally, the one thing I want to tell you about is it's tax season. We all know it. It's inevitable. It comes around this time every year. We do have federal and state forms, um, but they go quickly. They don't give us as many as they used to. So if you really need one, come to the library as soon as possible and get your copy. You can also go to mass.gov or irs.gov uh, to get forms printed online. Um, if you do need help with that, come to the library and our staff will help you do that as well. Um, and then the last thing, I just want to remind you, we have all those museum and, and attraction passes. What are you doing in the winter? Nice weekend, where are you going to go? Why don't you borrow a pass? We have a variety of things. Uh, let me, hang on, I have a piece of paper, my little cheat sheet here for you. Uh, Boston Children's Museum, Connecticut Science Center, the Equitarium, uh, Mass MoCA, New Britain Museum of Art, New England Quilt Museum. There's more. We have 17 of these. Check one out. It's a great activity to do in the winter when you want to get out of the house. And, you know, you've already been to the library. So hope to see you in February. Remember that cabin fever reliever series. And we'll see you at the library. Hi, I'm Sandy Courtney. I'm the Youth Services Librarian at the Munson Free Library, and I'm here to talk about what's happening in February. I feel like we were just saying Happy New Year, and here we are already talking about February vacation, but we have a lot going on that vacation week, so I want to jump right into it. Uh, our thanks to the Munson uh, Cultural Council for once again funding a makerspace program during vacation week. Um, we are so grateful that this grant funding has enabled us to bring Arthur and Pete Evans back. They are going to be doing a special Minecraft makerspace program for kids in grades three plus. I know you kids love your Minecraft and they might have some new hacks for you. So they're bringing laptops and the whole bit, everything you need, you just bring your creativity and your interest. Registration is required and signups are available online at MunsonLibrary.com or by dropping by the library. It will be first come, first serve. We do expect it to fill up with the wait list, so register early. Again, this is only for kids in grades three and up and uh, we can't wait. And our special thanks once again to the Munson Cultural Council through the Massachusetts Cultural Council. They have grant funded this program once again. Um, we are very grateful the Friends of the Munson Free Library program or fund most of our programs, but sometimes we just want to bring in something special like this. And um, the Munson Cultural Council once again has very generously supported us, so thank you to them. Uh, speaking of programs that our friends are going to be funding though, on Wednesday on the 21st from 2 to 3.30, we're going to be doing DIY bath bombs. We are going to make our very own snowball fizzies. We're going to learn a little bit about science and we're going to make our own fun bath bombs. So this is for kids in grades four and up. Registration once again is required. There is a limited class size, so please make sure you register early. Um, but that's going to be a super fun program and I'm looking forward to doing that with the kids. And Wednesday morning, of course, we will be having our story time. And because it's a vacation week, we will have a very special story time. Siblings will be welcome. And you can find out more about that on our website, which is, of course, MunsonLibrary.com. Uh, and we will be having baby time on Friday as well. So it's a full week of activities and there's an adult program happening that week too. So I expect we're gonna see you a lot during February vacation week. The rest of February, we've got a lot of our usual stuff happening. Every Friday morning is a great time to be at the library because that's when we do bounce and rhyme baby time, 10.30 in the morning for the littlest library fans. It's 
Um, it's a lot of fun, but it's also building the building blocks of early literacy. We are helping to raise readers. We sing our songs, we shake our shakers, we wave our scarves, but we're also learning about phonological awareness, we're learning about letter sounds, we're learning about colors and numbers and shapes, and we're having a lot of fun while we do it. We do about 15 to 20 minutes of an organized program, and then there's playtime afterwards. This is for our littlest library fans, like I said, for kiddos up to about age two and their caregivers. And no registrations required. We just uh, look forward to seeing you whenever you can drop by Friday mornings at 1030. For our bigger kids, and by bigger I mean the preschool set, Wednesday mornings at 1030, the library is the place to be for our preschool story time. Now, this is a little bit more organized. There's a little bit more structure. Um, and we're introducing the kids to a whole lot more of those early literacy tips. We still sing our songs, we do a little circle time, then we read some stories, then we do a craft or an activity related to what we've read. So the kids are learning a lot. They're um, getting some basic school stuff down. We even practice with scissors. We draw, we color, we paint, we build things, we play with Play-Doh. You never know what we'll do. We have all kinds of things up my sleeve. So that is Wednesday mornings at 1030. And again, registration is not required for our story time. Everyone is welcome. We ask you to just come when you can make it. And we look forward to seeing you then. New friends are always welcome. On the second Thursday of the month, from 4.30 till 5.30, uh, every month we have Legos and more. This month that'll be on February 8th. Now, for Legos and more, we have a couple of huge bins of Legos, and it's always fun to play with somebody else's toys. The Legos are the best. But there's also a lot of other things. We have board games, we have Jenga, uh, Trouble, a lot of the old classics like Checkers. Um, and we also have snap circuits, which are, uh, if you haven't seen these, it's an electrical uh, conductivity. It's not a game. I'm not sure what you would call it. It's an activity. It's something you can put together. They're really neat. And um, you can follow the actual patterns that are there, or you can bring your own creativity. I've seen these kids make some amazing stuff by just linking these things together. So uh, snap circuits are there. We also have puzzles. And for our littlest friends who come, we have Duplos and train tracks. There's literally something for hands-on fun for everybody. Again, that's on the second Thursday of the month, February 8th from 4.30 to 5.30. Uh, during the month of February, we're going to be taking a break with Arlo, and then in March, we're going to be changing up our Arlo Read with Arlo program. We're going to be doing something that's a little bit more, um, instead of registering for an individual time slot, we're going to have a program on Tuesday afternoons where we'll have up to six to eight children, and Arlo will come in and we'll be reading stories with Arlo, and um, well, we'll have more about that for you in March, tell you all about that. And last but not least, of course, is my Young Explorers group. Now this is my book club group for kids in grades one through three. They'll be meeting on Tuesday, February 27th from 4.15 to 5.15. We're reading Beneath Our Feet this month. Um, and we'll be discussing that and having a fun program uh, activity to go with that on February 27th. And new members are always welcome. There'll be copies of the book available at the library all month for kids to pick up. So we hope to see you soon. That's a quick summary of everything happening. Of course, if your kiddo goes to the Munson's Public Schools, keep an eye out in their backpack because there will be a little half sheet that will have information about those school vacation week programs and a reminder to get them signed up. Uh, so keep an eye on the backpack, both for the um, elementary school and the middle school kids. There'll be a flyer coming home about both those programs. So we hope to see you at the library soon, and thanks so much.